As soon as I saw the trailer for this, I knew it was going to be an interesting film to watch. Who did these? They're mesmeric. A uh, guy upstairs, he died. And you just took them? He had no family or friends. I can make you rich. It's brilliant. The man has people ready to kill. Have you ever heard of an artist named Ventral Deals? No, not in our records, and we have everyone. The artist used blood to create the red Velvet blocks. Buzzsaw, which came on Netflix February 1st. I would say it's a social commentary about the art world, the elite art world. What this movie is about is after a series of paintings by an unknown artist is discovered, those who have come into contact with these paintings, when they let money or their greed get in the way of the true nature of the art, a supernatural force comes to life and torments these characters one by one with Dan Gilroy who previously directed Nightcrawler. For Nightcrawler it was a commentary about journalists and in this movie it's about the art industry and the art world. The first half of the film is basically a commentary about that world and the second half is where the thriller and horror and the slasher genre comes in to this movie. With this cast, Tony Collette, who should have, by the way, side note, who should have gotten nominated for Hereditary Oscars. Come on now. In Hereditary, Tony Collette loses her head, and in Velvet Buzzsaw, she loses another body part. Nice. Jake Gyllenhaal, Natalie Dyer, John Malkovich, David Deegs, Rene Russo. The cast list is basically amazing in this film and the actors do a phenomenal job in their roles. Stylistically this was filmed very well. There were definitely images that popped into my mind and stuck on my mind after the film. However, I feel like this is one of those movies where the ideas are there. I would love to have seen these ideas delved into deeper. The execution of the movie needs a little bit of work and I'm not saying that is a bad thing but it might not go well with some of the audiences, which is why I say this film is not for everyone. I feel like those who appreciate artistically made films might appreciate this film more. Not saying that in a pretentious way. I'm gonna just say this since it's the first thing that pops in my mind. It's kind of like Hereditary or The Witch. It's a slow burn horror where it doesn't go the route of jump scares or pop out noises to really scare you. It's really the psychological, in your mind kind of horror. Things that you need to think about that really scares you, which I feel like is more effective kind of horror if done right because it's something that lingers in your mind. Although I was disappointed, I would say this film is still very entertaining to watch. It's one of those stylistically artistic movies with a commentary or satirical look on situations and industries. It's not for everyone, but I would recommend a one-time watch for everyone. Funny enough, this film, Velvet Buzzsaw, is an art piece and definitely succeeded in, the, in making people look at art in a different way and definitely sparking some discussions afterwards. What did you guys think of the movie? Were you excited? Were you disappointed when you watched it? What are your thoughts on the film in general? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys later.